Hi, I'm David Fleming from Disciples Ignited, a ministry that's focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom and preparing his disciples. In this new series, Jesus in the Book of Revelation, we're going to be studying how Jesus is revealed throughout the entire book of Revelation. Today, we're going to be looking specifically at Revelation chapter 1, verse 5, which gives us three important titles of Jesus. Let's look at that verse together. In the New International Version, Revelation chapter 1, verse 5 reads like this, Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. So, the first title of Jesus in this verse calls Jesus the faithful witness. Now, this title actually emphasizes two very important things about Jesus. He is faithful and he is a witness. And that's exactly what Jesus did throughout his entire earthly ministry. He faithfully testified to the truth. He was a witness to the truth. Remember how Jesus witnessed to Pilate before his crucifixion? The reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. So Jesus, at the very end, he, he emphasized once again that he had come to the world to testify to the truth. Oh, praise God. That is why it's so important that we understand that when Jesus is called the faithful witnesses, that's what he does. He testifies to the truth. Now, I tell you what, if you really understand the significance of this, you're going to see what a powerful truth it is telling us. That Jesus only speaks the truth and he is faithful to always tell us the truth. That means that he can be trusted. What other person could you ever trust like Jesus that's always going to tell you the truth? Jesus will. He is the faithful witness. He is not only your Lord, your Savior, but he is a faithful witness that is going to be faithful as he leads you, guides you, protects you, helps you, and he's always going to tell you the truth. There's nobody like Jesus. Now, tomorrow we're going to be looking at the second title in verse 5, the firstborn from the dead. Boy, is that going to be interesting. So you don't want to miss it. I'll see you again tomorrow.